Don't pretend that my message is for everyone. Who's my message for? My message is for somebody who is not satisfied with where they are in their life. My message is for someone who is ready to make a decision to move forward, whether it's health, business, or personal. But my message is for somebody that is looking to get better than they currently are. So am I in the right place? Absolutely, right? Are you ready for this? Can you change your point of view? Is it true, if it's true, that the only difference of elite performers is the way that they think, the point of view they share in common, then can you change your point of view so that your point of view results in healthy living, so that your point of view results in financial prosperity, so that your point of view results in wonderful relationships? Can you change your point of view? Let me tell you something. I'm proof you can change your point of view. I know I can guarantee my results. Here's the code that I want to live, the first part of principle-based living. Number one code is, I do what I say I will do. It just, I just, I just kills me when somebody doesn't honor that. So I say be very careful before you commit to what you're going to do because you're going to be held, what's the word? You're going to be held accountable because accountability is really key. All right, so we need to fight through this model. I show you my hands are empty. Now watch this re in uh, re relation to the truth. I'm going to make a fist and I pull out a scarf. See how that works? Just fine, right? Now watch. I'm going to make it disappear. I make a fist. I tuck this scarf into my fist. It's not going up my sleeves and my watch and my ring. It's going into my fist. It's going, going, and it's gone. The scarf has disappeared. It's not here, and on three, one, two, three, it's disappeared. Right now, you're probably saying, what a talented individual. Okay. I'm going to show you how I did this, but only in one condition. It's a standard magician's trick, and if it gets out that I showed you this, they'll make my car disappear. You have to promise to keep this confidential. Do you promise that? I'm sure of that. <laughs> All right, now watch. I show you my hands are empty. Raise a hand if you see empty hands. Raise a hand if you see empty hands. Now, the truth for you right now, you base your actions on the truth, is that I have empty hands. But that's not true at all. If you look very carefully in your monitors, right here, this is called the Renee thumb tip. And inside this thumb tip is the scarf. This is how this works right here. On sale for six bucks, by the way, includes the scarf. Now, now, let's see if there's a difference in your reality. This time, you see my hands are, I show you my hands are empty, but what do you see? Sticks out like a sore thumb, right? <laughs> now, the point is, this is the way it is in our lives. Ready, set, go. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Reach your goal. Tim, reach your goal. You said you would. Come on, Tim. I hold up, 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 hold up. Let me ask you a question. Did he try? Did he try hard? Did it matter? Trying hard isn't the answer. It's having a system, it's having a strategy. Ready, set, go. Come on. Come on, Kim, you said it was important to you. Prospect, you said you would. Come on, prospect. I right, hold on a second. Now watch this. How many think money is a motivator? Think money is a motivator? If you can break free, when I say go, I'm going to give you the $100 bill. What strategy will you use? The deal is off. The deal is off. The deal is off. Let me tell you, there's only one strategy that would work, and that's what he had. Negotiate. You with me? I can, I can speed it up if I need to. Now, I was in a struggle. I have a, a tremendous problem with my weight. I know you look at me and you say, this guy doesn't need to lose weight, looks like a professional model. What? So when I go into the hotel room, I go right to this mini bar, and now here's what happened, it was so sad, because I couldn't, I didn't know what to do. 
I remember one night I track my calories, I measure, and I was at a thousand calories. I go into the into this hotel and I go into the mini bar and there's M and M's and I had good intentions. One bag of M and M's, one serving, 270 calories. I've only had a thousand calories. I can have a bag of M and M's. I had the bag of M and M's and I had oh another bag of M and M's that has peanuts in them. And they were so good. Oh look at this chocolate chip cookies. Those are pretty good too. I have that. Well, I'm a little over calories, but you know just a little bit more. Oreo cookies. Yes, yummy, yummy. Oh, here's a jar of peanuts. Why not? If I could just get avoiding pain and seeking comfort to work for me I'm gonna do it and then I'll have my goals because I'll do what I need to do so here's what I did I told five people that I personally coach if I go in the minibar on this trip I'll pay each of you two hundred and fifty dollars and I told people who I knew would hold me accountable to this where's the pain now I go into the hotel same scenario but watch how my my Perception is so different. I go into the hotel, I look at the mini bar, what starts ringing is five times $250. I don't even think of the mini bar, and you're ready for this, this is all oh, that, this is so sad. You're ready for this? It was easy.